Here's a setup we use to make it happen. When I pull on my climbing rope, it allows everything to slide through. But when it goes back the other way, it locks. And if I want to release the lock, I pull on this accessory cord here. That pulls up on my locking turns and it'll release the system. Let me show you. All right, I got my rack tied up. Now I just need to start pulling on my hoisting end here. Now watch this. When I pull, it goes up. When I let go, it releases just a little bit, but it stays. Let me show what it looks like up top. All right, it looks like a jumble, but it actually is pretty simple. Let me show you here. I'll pull it up and then it locks. Pull and locks. Hoist, 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 lock. I want it to release, so I'm still gonna hold on my tension and I'll pull up on my green accessory cord and now we're lowering it down. Okay, let's get this thing on. So let's experiment a little bit. What if I'm pulling up and I just let go? Now what about our release? Let's see how hard this falls. I have about 48 inches of quarter inch Paramax. I'll find the midpoint and I'll move over about six inches. Then I'll take the end of my hoisting rope and I'll start wrapping it around. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's check to see if we stayed even on this side. Yep, we're good. Now I'm going to move my strands directly up and we're gonna tie them onto this bar. So I'll just throw them over. We're gonna tie in a lark's foot on both sides. To tie in a lark's foot, also known as a lark's head, I'll pull my strand on the inside. I'll go over behind the bar and back down. There you go. Same thing on this side. I'll pull it from the inside, go over behind the bar and back down. Now we're gonna have to cinch this up a second time, but for now we'll tighten it up as much as we can. Now what we're gonna do is tie a square knot to secure it. We're gonna go in front of our rope, left over right, pull it tight, right over left, pull it tight. Now here's what happens. As I pull on my rope, it slides through those coils, but when I come back, it'll grab. This is where we have to set in our tension. It'll grab and it'll lock in. But you see on our initial approach, we've gotten a whole lot more slack here. Now we have to undo our square knot. We'll pull out that tension, or that slack rather. Okay, looking good. Put our square knot back in. Okay, tight, I can hoist, tight, hoist, and it's tight. Now with this system, we have a lark's foot on either side. And when we pull in our tension, they tighten up, and that prevents the whole thing from flipping over when we pull in our slack. If we didn't have these two, the whole system would flip upside down, and we'd still be able to pull our slack in, but we would increase the amount of friction and wear on the rope. Now in the case of my roof rack, I didn't have a bar I was tying onto, and I also wanted to incorporate a pulley. After I tightened my square knot, I took the ends and I ran them through the eye of the pulley, and then I included my hoisting rope. When my tension's applied, all I need to do is pull on my release rope, it'll gather the turns, and it'll let me pull in some slack. Now I haven't tried this horizontally, but I think it would work just fine. I did get a comment once about pulling cows into trailers and not losing the progress as you pull them in. I think this might be a good option. So let me show you how I tied this up. I just started by threading it into one corner and I just go around to all four corners. With all four corners gathered up, I'll grab the rope on this side, I'll hook it in 
And now I'm just gonna tie a figure eight knot around my standing portion. Here we go, simple figure eight knot. Now the important thing about this knot right here is I can balance it. So right now it's way off balance. All I need to do is just pull and I'll adjust the knot and I can get it to balance where I need it to be so it's nice and square. I don't know the name of this knot, so if you do, please leave it in the comments.